video is going to be on the Beretta uh, Neo. It's in 22 caliber. Uh, you can see that there, the uh, firearm is empty. This, uh, you'll see that it has the curved grip, which sits nicely in the hand. There's a top rail on it, so you can mount a uh, scope if you want. It's pretty standard. Uh, this is the slide. Uh, the slide lock is right here. The only difference is, is the magazine button here is on the right hand side instead of the left hand side. Uh, I have taken this out a couple times and shot it. It shoots like a dream. It's very accurate. Okay, to disassemble, what I do is go ahead and lock the slide back in the locking position. There's a button right here. You want to push it down and you start unscrewing and it's going to take a little bit the wheel and what it's going to do is release yep see and it pops right off and then very carefully hanging on to this pull the slide down and it'll slide right off and there's your spring it's that easy to take apart very simple Okay, so you want to be real careful here because this is the firing pin. Uh, this portion right here does not come off, so to clean, I just clean a little bit right around here. This is the actual saw slide, so I'll clean it, oil it lightly. This uh, firearm does not take very much oil. And this is the rest of it, including the barrel. I'll go ahead and clean the barrel. You'll see the nut with it where you unscrewed. So, and this is the recoil spring. Slide the spring in. This is the only part that I found to be a little bit tricky is getting this to line up just right and hold it back at the same time. There we go. See I put the slide in the locking position. The screw goes right here in this little hole. You want to make sure that the uh, wheel is where it belongs. And there's a little indentation right here that this is supposed to slide into. So once you get things lined up, it actually just snaps right back together. And then you just start tightening it down. And screw it back together. Of course, if you had three hands, this would probably go a little easier. Now, of course, you want to make sure you get it tightened good, because if you don't, this barrel is basically the only thing hanging on to it is this right here and right here. So if you don't get this down tight, you're going to fire it and it's going to misfeed. So if you are getting feeding problems, I would take a look at that. And then you pop it together like that. And there you go. It's all put back together.